What up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? Back again with another video. This is a subscriber game, and I'm going up against Diaz. Hey, as always, just want to say uh, thanks for a well played game. Good game from you. So, extending my sportsmanship over to you for uh, being fair and playing, you know, playing hard as you can play. I should I should have looked at this when he was playing this four six. I didn't realize it to the game. Man, this guy's defense, boy. It gave me fits. So I'm gonna show you like what I was seeing in the beginning parts. And there's just some plays that he was using on defense that I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna have to start using. It's really this cover two play that he kept using. It's a really, really good play. It's it's you know, it's like it's regular cover two like any other cover two. It's just the way the defenders played on the field. It can tend to throw you off. There's some open spots in it, but you you're not gonna even gonna see it because nobody's nobody plays cover two like this. So it's it's pretty good. So you know, I think I'm gonna start using it too. But it was tough. It was tough. I gotta say, I gotta say, it was tough. He gave the Bears the Bears 46 on that. Ad. <laughs> good game, man. Just just want to say good game again. But he's on offense here first, and as usual, you know, I come out and I'm just trying to gauge my opponent. See what his tendencies are, what he likes to run. So here's the first play. Let's see why, how he runs it. <clears throat> All right, run back out the backfield. Okay, so he's 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 playing off a specific comp, type of concept here that I gotta watch out for, like the running back out the backfield and the crossing coming across the middle. So there's like high lows that you gotta watch out for. If you like too overcommitted to one guy, you get gashed up the middle. I'm trying to disguise my defense here too. It's a crisscross defense here. So he goes to the sidelines. I was trying to have him think my tight end was playing that guy. I mean my free safety was playing the slot receiver, but it was actually Callahan. But he made a good read anyway. Let's throw it to the out route. Gains a couple of yards. Then stand a couple two here. And Flacco sneaks for the first down. All right. All right, I got my work cut out for me. See, this is good when you're playing somebody that's actually, actually like playing off of you know reading what is what my defense is doing and throwing off of it because it can complicate things for me playing defense. Like seriously, I just can't come out here and just choose any old thing and just hope like well I hope he's not looking at what I'm doing on defense. Like now I actually got to call plays on defense now, so I'm trying to call plays based on what I'm seeing. So here I'm playing a hard flats because he's been throwing to the flats a lot. So let's see if this pays off for me. He throws it. Give me those. Give me those. Kyle Fuller, thank you very much. I'll take that from you. So we take it back the other way. See, that's the only reason why I play that right there because, like I said, he's been doing his high lows. And you see, you got to gauge your tendencies. What does he like to do? And that was almost like, you know, I see I didn't bump, right? I just played regular coverage. And when he thought he, you know, the flat was going to be open, I was playing hard flats out there. So you got to mix those uh, those uh, cloud coverages in the hard flats because it can throw you off. But the bad thing when you play hard flats sometimes is that right there. Those corner strikes or corner routes and a uh, post to the outside can kill you. So you just FYI. For your information, it can be deadly. So doing it again. I'm playing man this time. To bring him down, got him on third and long. Comes out in close. My most hated formation in the game. Close formation. So let's see if we can stop it. I'm playing cover two, but I'm disguising here. I'm going to run to the middle with uh, Mac. He's going to play the cover. There he goes. And he tries to play maker off field. And there's nobody over. Overthrown. Overthrown. Overthrown by the Flockmeister. All right, he goes ahead and punts the ball back. Right now, I'm kind of feeling myself. <laughs> I'm like, this is going to be easy. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm like, this is, is going to be easy. It's going to be nice. But he turned his defense off later, so we, we're going to see. Right now, he's playing a lot of, you know, cover three look in the initial parts of the, of the game. So I'm coming out with cover three plays to be this cover three look. Come right here for another first down. All right. Yeah, I just didn't realize four six was really this feisty. I've really seen anybody play cover six that much. Anymore. As you can see, you know, I don't know if maybe because they have better linebackers, so you can effectively play it with his team. But yeah, I mean, I, I have cover six. I use it from time to time if I'm trying to stop. 
you know, like you know, close formations underneath formations. I use this to my advantage to stop the run. But I don't know, his, it's like, did he, his, uh, and again, I, I was uh, trying to draw him off sides for most of the game, and I couldn't because his rush was, his rush was still getting to me still. Like, they were still putting pressure on me. So it was kind of throwing me off. But like, I mean, like I said, in the beginning parts of the game, I was making my read look 4 for 4. Like, I was doing alright. I was, I was, you know, I was doing pretty good. So, like I said, I was feeling myself in the beginning. You know. And he was really disciplined with his user in the middle. So, I mean, he didn't drift too far. You see that? You see that? You see that right there? You see how to come back? So, I don't know if that's just like, you know, like I said, I've shown that play a lot of times so doing my gameplays. So, that's why I'm trying to mix stuff up here a little bit. So, I'm trying to see if he's going to read my run back here. Let's just see what he does if he's aggressive. Yep. Yeah. He lets him go, so I dump it down and got the first down. Alright, got another series of downs here. And, uh, and this play will work really good against Gabriel, but for some reason Gabriel cannot get away from that guy over there. See that the top guy's playing. That's a good read, but knocked it down. Man, it too late maybe. Second down. I'm saying still in cover three heavy, cover three. So see what we do here this beats cover three a lot too this particular play right here and it can stress your user in the middle because you have to worry about Miller coming across and of course cable running the post up the middle so you have to you have to be disciplined and then of course the tight end as well so there's three routes right there it can be really deadly so right here I was trying to bait him into my <laughs> Into my cover three here down here in the red zone. You know, I usually I get him with the run, then I come back in the same formation and throw up the same formation. And this is prime example when I say why I don't like show my plays online <laughs> because he read it so good. I was like, okay, all right, you got me, you got me, you got me. Trying to hold his user here and then throw this back in the end zone, but he picks it off. He picks it off. Jeez, I was man, I was slamming my fist to my fist to the to the full time. When he picked that one off. Alright, good read, man. Good read. Alright, he got me. Oh, he got me. I got me. If I come down here next time, I gotta find another play. Because he knows that one. Like I said, man, see the combination Ross is running? So I gotta be I gotta be careful as well. So I turn my strip mechanic on. Let's try trying to get the ball back. And he tries to run it. Strips inside. Amos! Give me those! Give me those. Thank you very much. I'll take that from you. And we'll head back the other way. Told you when I come down here, I'm going to give him another play. Let's see if he's watching my videos. Let's see if he knows this one. <laughs> so I'm going to come out here. This is, I always do this on purpose. I'll give you a run of the same formation. So if I do get like good yards like this, you're going to anticipate run again when I come out in the same formation again. Flip to the other side of the field. You think it's going to be a run. Up until I do one of these numbers on you. Ah, I ran out of time. I hit him when I hit the true clock, but I forget to take it off and it keeps in clock. <laughs> so I hit him with this. This is another cover three beater. Oh, somebody forgot about white on the outside. Touchdown. Uh. All right, we are 14 zip. Like I said, man, it's a series of two halves. First half. You know, it will appear that I'm dominating. But we're going to see how he switches up his defense come the second half. Like I said, he gave, me, he gave me fits. In the beginning parts, right, it would seem like it's not right. But, you know, he adjusted and was trying to put the clamps down on me. I got to go edit my playbook, too, because, like I said, you play certain people and they open up your eyes to certain things. And what he opened up my eyes to in this game was because I've never really seen this formation being played aggressively before. I was kind of limited in the amount of kind of style of plays I could call, and I could see the hindrance. So I got to go retool my playbook again, just in case. I run into this again. I'm not stuck. That's what it felt like. It felt like I was stuck. I had to call like I think just one play really to get out of it, and force him to make a decision on. I'll show you when I get there. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Got to watch that running back out the backfield. All right, he has one time out left. That's so easy right there. See if he can get in the end zone here. 
Just throw it to the back of the end zone. Amos. I don't think so. I don't think so. This is going to be max protect. He's trying to throw it up. This is my play. <laughs> this is my play right here. <laughs> ah, I know that play. I don't think so. The guy on the far right is running a Z-spot play. And I got it covered on top. I kind of figured he was going to do that. Block all everybody. So I had my guys all the way on top. So there's nowhere for him to go. All right, I get the ball half. Let's see if I can increase this lead here. And here's where I started running into trouble. Because remember, like, the first half, he played cover three. I think here's where he starts switching up to cover two. And then it's like, yeah, you see what I mean? Yeah, I started having troubles. And, it's, and like I'm telling you with Trubisky, it might seem like things are open, but they're really not because I can't throw make those throws. And these guys, they drop this purples. They drop so far upfield that Gabriel can't really get open. Even when I run these switch out here with Miller and Gabriel, if I do run it, they drop so far up that it's hard for me to hit them behind them. You see what I mean? Hey, there's another one. So I just hope we make the first down here. <coughs> so, yeah, it's... Uh, I'm still doing pretty good, 8 for 11 passing, but still, you see the struggles. It's not as clear cut, trying to send him here, confused. Oh, oh, you see what I mean? It's like, you think it's open, but if you're Trubisky's arm, like, there's no telling where that ball is going to end up. <laughs> there's no telling where the ball is going to end up. So he was, then he was playing cover 3, so I was thinking being cover 3 again, but this is cover 2. X is open by the time I get to throw it, and I get brought down. You see what I mean with the rush? It's like his rush was getting there and he wasn't even using an aggressive rush. So I'm trying to do the exact same thing again. Here on third and 18. <coughs> My eyes are trained to the outside too long because Gabriel came open here. So there's always an opening. Just imagine a catch it. See Gabriel? So he switched defense. I'm going to just cover three and the rush again. It's like, all right. Let's go ahead and punt the ball. I was going to go for it again because I saw Gabriel, but I, was like, I didn't want to chance it on fourth down. So I just punted the ball away. At least I got him pinned in his five. All I got to do is just try to at least hold him. This, you know, just half. I'm mean, offsides there. To turn that off. Uh, aggressive pass rushing. Let's turn it off. All right. So let's see if we can hold him. Still in the game. Lost the ball again. He bring it down. Second, second and seven. Trying to see if I can catch that guy underneath again. So I should have controlled uh, Krakowski on the left. See the middle slot receiver? Ugh. I should have known that should have been open. Because right. I had the other guy playing the flats. So I, yeah, I should have co yeah, covered it with him. So I should have done it last time. So I'll go cover him this time, but then. The middle guy is open. So, I mean, he, like I said, he was, you know, he had good play calling. I can't really lie. I cannot really lie. I'm trying my best to try to hold him. That's my abilities. Just good stuff. He's taking what I give. That's what I'm giving. That's what he's taking. No crazy throws upfield. Just trying to manage the ball up the field and see if he can get a touchdown. And I'm just trying to have him waste as much as it goes again. Let's play. Ah! Alright, it's killing me. I gotta switch up here. That's why I'm coming out here. Here's my 46. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball. See what I mean when I play hard flats? I'll hit you with the post. And if I stay down below, then hit the guy that's running underneath. So yeah, it's, it's a double edge. Like high lows, are like the you know the ways to go to to beat like coverage. <clears throat> so I think right now I'm playing. No, this is a this is a nickel blitz. Yeah, it's a nickel blitz. Ah, oh, you didn't get there far enough. All right, second down and one, I believe. Yep. <clears throat> Time out. I didn't want to be caught in that same defense again, so call the time out here real quick. Oh. First down. Hey, at least I'm making him work. I'm making him work. I'm making him work. Should have stayed up there if it's come to me. All right, good play. All right, he's able to score. 
At least in the back of my mind, I was like, all right, I think I can get around his defense still. Because all I got to do is score again to keep the lead up, and then, you know, I can still possibly still win. It's in the back of the end zone. Converts to two. All right, it's a three-point game. Now the pressure's starting to tighten on me. Here's where he's playing cover two right here. This is the cover two defense I'm talking about. And, if, and you see how the outside corners follow? So I couldn't. And then the rush. The rush is, is, the, is the key to all of this. The rush was getting there. Like his rush was getting there. And you can see me, see me. I'm trying to snap the, like, fake snap to get him to jump. But it didn't matter. He was only rushing four, and, and I didn't have enough time just to get in there. So, it's a hold. And they'll bring him down at the 20. Yeah, it's cover two press right here. Right. I'm trying to hit Gabriel here up the middle, but I think he had it covered. I'm trying to hold the linebackers in the middle with uh, my tight end. And, you know, the, other, the other guy got him. And then the rush. The rush again. <laughs> so it's fourth and eight, man. I'm dealing with this rush. It's like killing me. All right, so let's see if we can convert again. Maybe yeah, I should just throw it like just fast through the box or something. Because he's just leaving over there on an island wide open. Okay, he's got him covered. Ah, oh, he did come up. Yeah, that's a risky throw. Rush got to me again. All right, man. I turn over and down to my own end zone. I mean, in my own uh, red zone. Let's keep run. Look what Smith says. I don't think so. I think I'm playing cover three match right here. No, this is cover two. Cover two, cover two, cover two. Oh, Shuna Doe just tackled the guy. Call time out. Switch defense. Yeah, this is cover three match. Should bring that? Oh, this is cover two. This is cover two off of four, um, off of uh, big nickel. And it was there, but I don't know why he did that. <sighs> I hate those animations. Those reach animation, dude, is not anywhere anywhere close to you. Why would you reach like that? <sighs> All right, man. Come on, Trubisky. In the Tom Brady, man. Let's go. Maybe my last video when I had a guy that kept playing this. Uh, route over here the short route video that i showed you so i figured let me use it against this cover too because they're playing me high on top there he goes and the only should be open Come, i hate that some stuff man now you catch the ball and you can't even move like i'm like stuck in quicksand or something like when i flip the play here watch gabriel he's gonna kind of sort of get open but like i said those are those throws that i get scared to throw with trubisky because i don't know where it's gonna wind up look at him he's, i think he's open but like i'm scared to throw that pass I'm scared to throw that pass. But Trubisky was able to run for the first down. Get a new set of downs. And here's where I was like, all right, I'm going to stick this play all the way upfield. I'm going to force him to stick um, Cohen. But I'm going to flip the play up to the other side. Since he's always controlling that linebacker on the top right. Yeah, he's always controlling that linebacker. So yeah, you're going to have to freaking come stick I mean, uh, Cohen by yourself. You're going to come play him, man him up or something. Because I'm not gonna allow you to destroy my my offense. So that's why I'm going. To, I'm gonna like yeah. You're gonna have to come stick on. Just get a first down. I can't fumble. I'm trying to slide, but can slide. It's the same play. It's the same play against the same defense. <coughs> He's still playing cover two. So Let's see what happens here. Because upfield is gonna be wide open. You see it in a minute. It's just cover two. There's a gap by the safety because they're going to both carry Gabriel, I mean not Gabriel, but Burton and my wide receiver on field. As you can see, see, underneath it's just wide open. Or he needs time to throw it. And it's always been there. But because I was running into the right side of the field where his user was, he was just chasing with his user. That's why I just flipped the play. I'm like, alright, you're going to have to switch come on my side. No, no, there's just little things that you take away from the game, what it is your opponent is doing. And you mark them down. And then you use it to your advantage. Like he was either guy to switch to the other side of Cohen and play Cohen, and he's going to leave the other side of the field wide open. But he had to make a choice. So, one ball here, flip it. And I don't know what happened to his defense, but they all got pancaked. 
and we get into the end zone. Took a while. We'll find a breakthrough right there in the end. So, three timeouts, 35 seconds left. And we're coming with the heaters. We're coming out with the heaters. I told you, man, drag and post. Drag and post. Who's coming across? Who's coming across? He's coming across. Oh, ho, overthrow. Second and ten. This is this is dangerous what I'm doing, but I'm just because I know they got this brown guy number 13 is fast on their team, so I gotta leave my guy on top high there. Because he beat me deep. So I'm gonna keep forcing him to throw early. But we don't want him throwing over across the field. He okay, switches formation. All right, we we'll switch formation too. We're not gonna allow him to throw those drags across the field. No, 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 no. This is cover three match I'm playing. This guy's just coming four. Ah, look at that. Good play on this part. But Flacco's not able to complete. Got him on fourth down and ten. Amos had a big game. Can't really lie. Had a pretty big game. We're coming. We don't care. We're coming. Give me those. Thank you very much. I'll take that from you. All right, man. I mean, that's really it, man. So she wrote. Well, it was a good game. This game could have swung anyway. But, you know, good game nonetheless. Until the next time, guys, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me one time. Bang! And until next time, fellas, I'll holler at you dudes. I'll later. Are right there. One.